But the NCAA tournament coming to a close, we at Explore Tulsa decided to honor some of Tulsa's finest in the paint. That's right, let's meet repeat 5A Oklahoma State champions, the Memorial Chargers. Well, just the expectations, uh, you know, they were high from the beginning. Like, I, like I've said to everybody, it was a great opportunity, but a big responsibility, especially with, uh, with a lot of experience, a lot of big game experience. But being from here and knowing uh, what people expect here and how players are supposed to act on the court with high character, off the court, I knew that if we followed those same, the same method that had been successful, if we just stay focused on that, that the talent and the scoreboard would take care of itself. So I put more pressure on the uh, everything everything that led up to the games more than the games themselves. Coach Bobby Allison, Tulsa Memorial Boys Basketball. State champions, yeah, back to back. Those guys have played so much basketball together uh, through the summer, through open gyms, through uh, their freshman season, JV season. Uh, that played, they just played ball together and they know each other's strengths, weaknesses, and they, uh, they humble themselves to realize what player A can do better than player B. And they really just, they, they all buy into uh, what's best for the team in that scenario. And then it just gets a flow going and that's when they're really fun to watch and that's when they're fun to coach and that's what happened uh, on our playoff run, we got on that flow. Seniors, I mean, we've been together since elementary, middle school. We play AAU ball together. Uh, we hang out with each other on weekends. It's like we're like brothers. So everything just came together. When it went on the basketball court, it just comes together. We already knew each other, each other's style, where, where each other's spots was. So we knew how each other played and what we did best. We really didn't know what to expect at first because we had a new coach. We didn't know if we were going to be good enough or we were going to be the same, but I mean, as the season came on, I mean, we still stuck together. I mean, we just played together as a team, really. To say, to, for Coach Savage to say that he was going to leave, I really didn't know how to take it, but I mean, I knew he had to do what he had to do and we had to just come in and do what we had to do. So with the new coach and everything coming in, Coach Allison, he came in, knew what he had to do, knew that he had big shoes to fill, and he did it. Oh, it was, you know, like I've always said to everybody, it was a great, great opportunity and a big responsibility. Uh, being that I played here and that I was from here, I was familiar with everything. I mean, it was, it was home. So, you know, you're familiar when you're back at your home. It was a little bit of relief and a little bit of uncertain because we didn't know like how far how far would we go. But well, he's been here at Memorial. I mean, and he's been he knows the tradition and I mean he knows how how Memorial players should play. For them to go undefeated at home through our tough conference schedule, it was really 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 special because there's been so many great games. Uh, in our old gym, now now our old gym. That was very important to people throughout the program's history, throughout the community, uh, throughout you know the players past, present, and players in the future will hear about this. And they really embraced that. Our assistant coach, uh, Draper Sturdivant, and Coach West both played here. They, they preach to the kids all the time, protect the castle, protect your house. And uh, those kids really had that mantra. You know, that was a great way to close it out. I remember the play, I mean, I think it was uh, like 10 seconds left. I was at the free throw line. Hit the last free throw to go up by uh, seven, I think. Mm -hmm. And like, once I turned around, Damari was right there in my face and we just bumped chest and we knew that we already had it. We sealed the deal right there. And we were already celebrating, coming back on defense because we knew the game was over with. Like, it, it didn't feel real. I always wanted to do it, but I know I could, you know. It didn't feel real, but it was real. I'm just thinking about all the practices, all the fighting in practice, all bickering and everything, the arguing and everything, it just paid off. It was a great film. 
it's still crazy. I mean, back to back champions. I mean, a lot of people came up to me after the game, too, and said, Man, that's crazy. How did y'all do it? I mean, it wasn't easy doing it. I mean, it was hard. We had to work for it. I mean, but it took a whole bunch of weight off the shoulders once we got it.